It is way too late to be making a video right now, but I cannot sleep. <laughs> So I'm just going to tell you a story instead. <laughs> Yay! I have no makeup on, I'm in my pajamas, even though you can't really see anything but a t-shirt, which probably means that I should get cuter pajamas. So I don't know what you guys' experience was with your first job, but mine was definitely <laughs> unique to say the least. My first job had a lot of penis. A lot of penis and very little money. A little backstory, there is this place in LA called the Fountain Theater, which is a very intimate theater with like a tiny stage and a few rows of seats. And I am close friends with the owner's son, Danny. And one day the owner of the Fountain Theater kind of sits down with his family, and all of a sudden he asks his son, Hey son, do you have anybody you know that would be great at painting some penises? You know what? I think I know just the person. She'd be great for this job. It turns out that the Fountain Theater was putting on a play called Called Reborning, and in that play, one of the characters sculpts very realistic, phallic looking objects. And in the play, the way that the character is introduced is he walks out on stage with a penis hanging out of his pants, <laughs> trying to fake it that it's his own, even though it's it's one of the dildos that he creates. The theater needed somebody to paint those dildos. They they needed somebody to make them look like very realistic very, very realistic, monstrous penises. <laughs> but you know, finding some reference was actually kind of fun, you know? It gave me some time to go on Uges, catch up on my Johnny Sins and my fake taxi, you know, all that jazz. And they gave me like one monstrous, ginormous penis that was like this big, super thick. I was just looking at them thinking, I can't even imagine how people put these inside of themselves. I mean, really, you put that thing in a woman and it just, and I've never used a dildo before, but getting this job and having these three ginormous things that I was working with, I kind of got curious. I was wondering about the majestic unicorn feelings that I might encounter if I placed this human banana inside of me. But then I got worried that they might do a smell test or something, so I decided to save that adventure for another day. I would drive 40 minutes to the Fountain Theater to sit in a dressing room by myself for like three hours and do nothing but stare at these penises as I intricately painted them. And every day when I walk it out, it's like everything was suddenly penis shaped. And it was always really fun walking around downtown LA with these three big penises, like I'm from the 50s or some shit with a big smile on my face. And these little old ladies that I would pass by would always look at me like I need Jesus. The paint would wear off or rub off every time the actor in the play would like fling them around or throw them at other characters. Yeah, you can imagine that this play was pretty, was pretty crazy. So I would be called back to come and repaint them. So just as the penis images were beginning to fade away and macaroni would just start to look like macaroni again, I would be called back and the madness would start all over again. The theater was completely run by tiny little old people that were incredibly sweet and all very like, oh, look at her, she's painting a penis. I actually had an article written about me for it. I mean, it was by the theater, not exactly like a newspaper or anything, but it's still really cool and I'll link it in the description down below. But yeah, after three months of painting dick, I get to put it on my resume now that my first job was, you know, penis. It was a great experience though. It made for a lot of good stories and I met so many cool people and I'm just really happy that I got to do it. It was difficult telling my mother about it though. And since my mom is a very innocent, sleepy little character from the 50s, her immediate reaction was just, oh gub, dildo painter, that is so nice. Is that a type of plant? No. I want to know all about you guys' first job. What was your experience like? And if you haven't had a first job yet, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because I want to be a million different things when I grow up. I would certainly be okay with a few more odd jobs if they were as interesting as this one, that's for sure. I'm gonna see if I can actually edit this video and put this up before I crash and burn in my bed. But I will see you guys in my next video, and Sir Bradford probably won't, but maybe in the next storytime video? I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!